Well, now here we are. Back in the day, we retrofitted a B16 manifold into a CRV head. It could be an ITR or a CTR manifold, whichever, as long as it's a B16. And we managed to install it, and it worked for a circuit car that did well. And of course, we'll insert some tidbits about my car, some changes, and also a cylinder head that we were porting, and we're going to show you some tips and tricks. Let's go. Okay, first things first, the key I would notice on the video we did about my ESI, look at the door handles. All of them except that the front passenger side has been busted. So, you know, it was hard to use it. I have to open the door from the front passenger side, yada, yada, yada. So eventually I decided, okay, maybe it's time to look for a good replacement. So I searched online and I saw this shop, CSP Aftermarkets. And they actually have a lot of good parts, like for example, replacement bumper, front and rear, fenders, hood, and even trunk. And mostly it's Taiwan or Thailand copy. So it's not China, so it's really good. And the thing is, I ordered this on August 31 at 1 p.m. And by 1.30, they were shipping it out, look. They even took a picture when the Grab Rider picked it up and headed to us. So by 2 p.m. or 2.30, it was already with me. And so this is their page. So in case you need anything Toyota or Honda Civic related, and they got, they can get other parts too. So hit them up. And the link on the, will be on the description below for their page. So check them up because they do great service. And I mean, I just searched for ESI door handles and they came up and... You know, I was a first time customer, but they treated me like I've been a loyal customer for a while. So that right there for sure tells me I'll be ordering more stuff from them soon. Right, the door handles are now removed. Look at that, they're all busted up. Especially the driver's side, because hey, I was trying to use pliers and whatnot. You know, I almost finished it. Look, good thing there's something left, you know, and here. Look at that. It looks a lot better than being red. It actually looks really OEM. And this is a Taiwan replacement, so it's pretty good, actually. Look at that. It actually makes my car look more shinier, right? Look. Perfect. So, hey, hit up CSP Aftermarkets for all your accessory needs and all that. And, of course, as car guys, we got to test it out. Oh, yeah. Now, I miss opening the door this way, not from the other side because it's broken and whatnot. Even the rear, oh yeah, OEM, yo. All right, and look, I wanna show you this startup of my car because we plan to turn it into a full exhaust with magna flow mufflers, 2.5 inches, all right? There you go. Actually, now when you think about it, CSP as aftermarkets, I might have to go back to them for a bumper. And here you go, Magnaflow 2.5 inch muffler given by a friend. So there you go, oh, it's gonna look good. Because you know, we're getting old. We don't want any noisy cars anymore. And plus, the thing is, the more I learn about engines, the more I realize exhaust length is imperative and important to making efficient power so we gotta do it right okay sorry about that we gotta let you know what's going on with my car of course okay now here's a p30 intake gasket and the cardboard that i drew on is a p75 crv gasket okay look at this all the bottom studs actually align all four of them 
and also the one near the number one piston or port except the cooling area there we'll talk about that a little later and how we solve that and here look at the difference on the b16 there's a topmost center stud and then on the crv there's a middle hole okay let me cut all those holes now and here we are there you go all right now let's align it once again you'll see so it's perfectly aligned on all the bottom four stud and the number one and then above between the number one and two is also aligned and between two and three except for the one in the center you actually have to remove the stud on the head on the p75 cylinder head so you can make it through in installing it and we actually did this or actually bong did this for a fellow named mccoy and he was actually racing uh i think i forgot the name of the event but it's a circuit race and he was using a b20 on a four door and it was actually running a skunk 2 itr style intake manifold so hey you know when you think about it the b20 crv on that manifold is cool all right now on to the p75 head we, we removed the center stud eac my hands is that strong now just kidding my colleague already loosened it with the double nut the double nut trick all right now we're gonna drop in the p30 intake manifold where is it oh wait let me get it all right ta-da see all the bottom studs actually line up but the coolant this one we have to plug it and i'll explain that later so you can plug it with an allen so you know it'll still work good all right now let's lay it down here you can see on top all those studs align well here even though you remove the center stud you still have the other two that's working the center is gone and then here and here they still tighten up so it's pretty good even all the way near the timing belt is still tight it's still able to be tightened so it's gonna seal perfectly fine and hey bong used this on a circuit racer so it probably works good right for at least 20 laps no problem all right we're gonna try to tighten a knot this way it doesn't fall off all right there you go look at that a CRV head with a B16 intake manifold. How cool is that, right? And for those who pay attention to our previous videos, remember remember when we talked about intake runner length and the second harmonic, third harmonic, when you think about it, a B20 CRV 2 liter or 2.0 displacement on this kind of runner length? Oh man, can you spell slalom or autocross this is gonna be great for that power band right yeah now let's take a closer look yep the supported p75 head we're actually gonna ship this to Kazan province on monday yep well not the intake manifold that's mine look at this so imagine with a p30 intake manifold let's say it's even ported by me of course and then a, maybe a 70 millimeter millimeter throttle oh this is gonna be one responsive engine and you know it's gonna be like chirping tires every gear that you shift this is good for autocross it's gonna be so excellent still wonder how good would this be if a non vtec had itv that would probably be like a mugen formula 3 all right now let's go to our solution to the coolant port here all right now we're gonna put the this is our pipe plugs that's so one eighth one fourth and half inch we use it for vtec conversion and even full flowing the vw beetle engines okay the biggest i have is a half inch but we need the three fourth or 0.75 inch uh pipe plug allen plug you know so you can tap the thread here so this way you can plug it with an allen 
and then if you're gonna go back to the normal manifold you can take it off or you can get an NPT fitting that's three fourth of an inch and fit there with a coolant bypass hose. This way it's straight OEM, but when we use it for circuit racing, it was fine when it was plugged, right? That's the ported head. It actually looks really, really good, right? This is gonna be some fun project for someone in Quezon province. They're gonna have a powerful, non-VTEC engine. One of our good friends from Spain emailed me. His name is Paco. And he said he tried this but went back to the stock one because he had in trouble with the coolant ports. So I hope this solution here would help him go back to the same P30 manifold and, you know, give a run for their money, those VTEC guys. Because he's running a B20 CRV engine on his EK hatch. Man, it's a beautiful hash he has, you know. So this one is going to be really, really good. And you can click here for the CRV head video that we did with porting it. We've been showing you earlier. We can watch it here. And of course, there's some good tech tidbits over there on that discussion on that video. So you got to enjoy it. Now let us go to the B16 head that we're actually porting in the shop that we're not going to make a video because we already have a video of a B16 head porting but we're going to show you the stuff that we did including the plugging for the VTEC because it's going to be an LSV tech and also the oil line for it. Now look at the exhaust. It's actually 85 to 90 percent finished. It's not yet finished. We still got to smooth out and get all the little small details done. But hey, it's looking good, right? An LSV tech soon. All right, now here we loosen this portion. Wait, let me lift it till I'll tilt it. Now, okay, there. We loosen this with the Allen wrench so that this is actually where we pass through the VTEC oil line. Other people do it the other way, but hey, we find this cleaner and the engine bay looks really clean. All right, now wait, let's flatten it. Okay, we're gonna show you where we plug or we threaded to be plugged with an Allen plug, like the one I showed you earlier. Here, see, it's actually threaded, so now you can plug it with an Allen plug. This way, you can easily remove it if you're going back to a normal VTEC block. That's gonna be good, right? And uh, the details on this head, we won't be able to do it on the video. But if you're enjoying this video so far, you can like the video and hit subscribe. And magically, you'd find the link to our shop page because we'll have all the good pictures of this. And look at that exhaust. It looks really, really good, right? And you go, you know, the intake is even better. So like this video and of course, Check out the page for more.